Hey guys, once again, this is Salim Monique, and I'm gonna be showing you how you can make your own logo from using some simple free apps on your cell phone. So, um, you know, if you don't wanna pay somebody to do it, if you wanna use your own artistic ability, you wanna use your creativity, this is a great way to do it. I know for myself personally, I have used free apps on my phone to make my lo to make some logos. Um, I've also paid people to make my logos for me. So it's, this is just an alternative. If you don't wanna pay, um, you know, a logo maker, you can do it yourself. And it's simple and it's easy and you can make a nice logo I know for my Salim Monique logo I actually made that myself so what we're gonna be doing I'm gonna show you here on my phone what we're gonna be doing is we're going to go to the Play Store okay or if it's your if you have an iPhone go to your App Store type in logo maker okay and it's already pulled up on my phone and as you can see there are several different types of logo makers most of these are free okay and um, or you can purchase them for cheap typography maker oh I like that I may have to download that just for something different <laughs> I think I'm gonna be using that for something different um, but okay let me get back to my focus <laughs> but that's the fun part about it is that you can kind of just go through and decide you know you can test it out research just figure out which ones you want to use so personally I have downloaded logo maker here this one is installed on my uh, on my phone and so is this one so we are going to go to logo maker we're gonna make a logo okay so let's logo maker where are you there you are so oh we're doing something with that <laughs> um, I was just demonstrating that for somebody okay so here we are we are going to go so what's cool about this okay is that you can you can play around with this um, app now it is a free app so you're gonna get the um, so you're still gonna get some ads if you want to pay you could pay the 9.99 or however much it is to get it off get the ads off but you know it's not a big deal okay I don't think it's a big deal I leave them on I like free I love saving money you know and all of that so you can choose a background. Oh, they have Mickey Mouse there. I guess these ones, if you want to unlock those, you can unlock them and they probably come with the feet. Um, so we are going to, let's go, I'm going to go back out and I'm going to go to text. And this is one of my companies now. This is one of my new companies, Butterfly Leaf. So I'm going to, I'm going to make a logo for this. Okay. So you type in, you know, your logo that you want. And what's great about this is that I didn't choose a background because I want this lettering to go over to go on any um, I want it to go to be able to go on labels and things like that so I'm not gonna have a background um, and I guess it would depend on what exactly you were doing with it but um, so I'm going to I would like to change let's give it a shadow we can give it a shadow just by Doing that, you can mess with this. Okay, you can go to 3D, which is right here. So you can go here, controls, fonts, colors, shadow, um, background, 3D. So I'm gonna do 3D. So remember, I have to do this for my phone. So you could kind of, you can move your logo around, give it a little bit of a turn, give it curvature. Okay, either way. And actually, I kind of just want to leave it. I'm not going to do too much 3D action on it, okay? Just maybe a little, bulk it out a little, okay? Now, I would like to change, go back to, oh, let me go back, okay? And I would like to change my font. So this is awesome because there are so many different types of fonts here. Move my little arrow guy. And you could play around with it, okay? Butterfly leaf, oh, that's a cool font. I think I'm going to change this color so we can see it a little better. I think it's the color is actually blending too much in with the background. So if anybody knows me, they know I like pink and purple. That's too purpley. So you can just play around with it. It's fun to just play around with. Um, I can even make it green. Make it a green color since it's leaf okay or whatever make it orange yeah okay so just play around with it I'm actually thinking 
Okay, make it a little bit more pink. Okay, make it like that. You can make it bigger by pressing this. These arrows right here can grow it. Or this arrow, okay, this, um, you can turn it. Okay. I'm going to keep it straight. If you wanted to trash it, you could just press the garbage can, but I'm going to keep it. I am going to check out some more fonts. That's a cool font. I may consider that one. Butterfly leaf. And it just depends. So, I mean, as you're making your text, you want to think like, okay, who is my audience? So, like, if, if I were, let's say that I was marketing to um, young girls, I wouldn't really have probably the whole, um, like, if I was doing, like, um, lip gloss, let's say, for for the younger kids, for like teenagers, I would try to find a text that would suit them. So something fun that they would like, okay, that would draw their eyes. But at the same time, if I were doing a more sophisticated line for like women, okay, like I'm going to be doing, you know, if I was choosing to do something, um, you know, a lipstick line, lip gloss line, and I wanted it to be more, um, it would depend, like more woman, you know, older women like this, for example, this might be for a teenager, a teenage girl, or for like a maybe 20 something year old. But if I am going to get more into, you know, just more sophisticated, you might want to decide on changing your text, okay? And you want to think about your audience. Who is, and, and make sure that you like it too. Okay. So, butterfly leaf. And, okay, what else do we have here that we need to do? Oh, let's go back up. Okay. Is there anything else? Controls. Um, okay. Fonts, color, shadow. So I can give it a shadow if I want. A little shadow, three dot. Um, okay, so let's say that I want to add some art. Okay, so there's a lot of different art here, and because oh, let me go back. Okay, there's at the bottom. There's this awesome little part down here where you can you can decide. So maybe flowers I can look at flowers but because this is called the butterfly leaf I'm trying to find some butterflies how about that I have a tattoo studio butterfly there we go so and actually I use this one right here for my logo for my Celine Monique logo so if you check that out it's pretty cool you know um um, so I am going to choose, let's say we're going to choose this one. Let's see how it works. Okay, we add one. Oh, it matches my color. And I can just, I can, oh, I don't want to move that. I actually want to move my butterfly. I kind of got to move things around a little bit, recenter them. Mm. Okay, maybe we want to put the butterfly, we want to move it to the top. So I am going to, I wonder, we want to put it on top. Oh, I think what you just do to move it to the top is you click on it. I know there's a way. I can make my butterfly on top. There we go. Okay, so there's the butterfly leaf. And I think I'm going to change this font because it's not really matching my butterfly. Move my butterfly up here while I change the font. So I'm going to go back. And you could just play with it. It's fun. You could play with it. Um, and if, you know, you, you check out the art you want to use text 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 and go through all of them you know just really discover which one you love okay 
and now move my little butterfly and maybe I can test out placing it on the bee. That's kind of cool. If I were to make it a little bigger, I'll put the, I want that on top. Okay, something like that, all right? I'm gonna do a little turn here and make it a little smaller. And there we go. Okay, so there, the butterfly leaf. It's kind of making me blurry. Okay, you could add effects to it. Um, just to show you, I don't really do the whole effect thing. It's not gonna really go with my logo right now, but you could put different effects on it. Okay, we're not gonna do that. You can add images from your, you know, if you had an image that you wanted to put on there. So it's pretty cool. There's a lot when it comes to, I'm just gonna go through some of these, um, the different types of logo or, you know, artwork that you can use. Oh. Let's take that off. I did not ask for you. Okay. You want to add person. If you want to add, you know, lettering, property. These are more like corporate logos you're going to find. Okay. If you want a kind of corporate looking logo, add some of these. And I could have done like maybe a leaf since it's the butterfly leaf, but something like this. Okay, you could add backgrounds. If I wanted to put a circle there, you know, right and golf this in a circle or whatever, which I don't. It's not cute. Not cute circle, so we're gonna get rid of you. Oh, you wanna make sure the last one you click on the gold. Okay. So now it's all done. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come up here and click the check mark. I'm gonna go image, oh, forget, I can't do it from my phone. I'm gonna go HD. Now, there's an ad here for three seconds, sorry. <laughs> That's what you get when you get the free apps, but there's nothing wrong with free. As you see, it was simple, it was easy. You could get your cards made if you wanted to do cards. No thanks, okay? Now, now my, um, my logo has been sent to my it's been sent to my gallery. So I am gonna go here. Okay, and there's the butterfly leaf. Okay, what I'm gonna do because this has this logo maker thing right here, I'm going to crop this out. So I am going to go to the pencil right there, click on that, and I'm going to go, I'm going to adjust, okay, by pulling these corners, I'm going to crop this out. That way that logo maker little sticker is gone. I'm going to save it. And there we go. There is my logo and it's cropped out. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to go to canva.com. Okay. And you can download this app. It's in your app store. You can um, put it on your computer, canva.com awesome I love it I do so much in Canva a lot of the things that you see um, when I do my videos uh, my video um, template I mean uh, what do you call those things um, thumbnails I do those for YouTube and I do those in Canva I do my quote pics in Canva um, I do ebooks in Canva there's a lot I even did um, the the brand the planner that I sent you guys, your build your own product line planner, I made it in Canva. So there's so much that you can do here. So what there these are, you can explore Canva. So these are some of the things, you know, you can do Twitter posts, certificates, bookmarks. We are going to go to labels right there. Okay. Now you can choose what type of label are you doing? Are you doing clothing label, wedding labels, luggage labels? What else do they have? Here? Okay. We're doing product label. So we're going to click on that. And look at all these wonderful labels. And this is great. This is just a brand new feature that I have discovered on Canva. They did not have these. Now, this is wonderful because you could put these on, you could use um, these on your product. I mean, yeah, on your products. Okay, so I'm going to use this one. Get this right here. And I am going to, let's say that this is mine. And I think it's a dollar for like this background and stuff back there, but... 
whatever. Okay, so I'm going to erase this. I'm going to delete this Shira Rice thing. So we're going to delete that. And what we're going to do, click the X or the check mark. I am going to go to the plus sign right here. And I am going to go to image. Okay, thank you for letting me manage my pages. Okay, go to plus sign, image. And I'm going to go to my cropped out butterfly leaf right there and just by pulling this corner right here I am going to shrink this up and I'm going to move it right in the middle go up some okay there all right soap barbiton this is for a soap and yeah and even if I wanted to, like for the butterfly leaf, if I wanted to, okay, I didn't want the purple, I wanted to be black, or I wanted to be gold, or I wanted to be green, I could go back into the app, and um, back into the local maker, maker app, and I could change the colors. So you don't have to be confined to one color if you don't want to. If you wanted it to be color coded to your product, you could do that as well. I mean, this is your creativity. This is the way you could do it. So this is one of the ways in which you can simply use logo maker okay and then I would just download it like this and they want to charge me a dollar forty nine and I don't want to do it okay so if that's okay so I am not going to do it what I can do is I can always screenshot for right now just so that you guys can um, I'll put it in the um, forum so that you guys can just see it as an example. But if you wanted to, you could purchase it for $1.49. That's just for the background of doves. But you can also change that out. And I'll be showing you guys more on that. Okay. So it doesn't have to be that. All right. So go back here. Okay. And now we're going to check out logo. Okay. We can also check out this logo maker. You could kind of just play around. My logos, draft, social um templates so i can go to templates enter my company name the butterfly leaf beautiful soap i don't know just got that idea okay show design and then they they've done some designs already for me i don't really like these they are kind of they're not very cute and they don't seem super professional, but you can kind of move them around. You can do what you want with them. Change the font. You know, change the color. Color, maybe you want to, you know, you can change. No. I am I always drawn to purple. I don't know why. And it says butterfly lead. That's okay. Okay. So you can, you know, there's different apps out there. Personally, the one that I used, and let me just go here and I will show you guys. I was doing some, where did I put it? Okay. We'll go to, oh, I didn't want to close them all, but um, Google. Oh, it came back up. Thank you. I didn't even ask for you to do that. Okay. So we can go to um, build your own product line. I want to just show you productline.com. I'm going to our page. And we are going, if you can see, if I go here, meet Celine. Okay. This, I made this in that free logo maker. I made this myself. So it's very possible for you to make it yourself, okay? And um, I just, yeah, I was thinking about getting somebody to do it and I was just playing around and I ended up actually loving it. So, you know, this is something simple that you could do as well, all right? So, um, yeah, that is, that's how you can make your logos, okay? This was another one I did on another video, not really. I actually like the one I did with you guys better. Okay, so 
Once again, this is Celine Monique. And if you guys have questions, make sure to post them in the forum. But I'm so excited um, for you to move forward and get your logos made. Make sure that you share your, your logo in the forum and test out more than one. If you are unsure of, you know, don't let the first one that you do be the only one that you do. Give yourself a good spread. I say, you know, come up with maybe three to five different logos in different colors, different fonts, different things. Post them in the groups. Let us see. If you want to, you can inbox me. Um, you can email me. You can post in the forum if you want us to vote on which one we think is best. But I don't say, I always say don't stick to the first one. Always Go with something, um, you know, really give yourself a good range and a variety. And you just never know. You may come up with something. And even if you want to test one out yourself, you may want to try one yourself. And then you may want to also try to get a um, to get a, a, a logo maker to make you one, like on Fiverr for 5 bucks or $10. And then see which one you are feeling the most. So, yes, this is how you make your logos. And I hope that this was of some guidance. All right. You guys have a great rest of your day. Peace and blessings.